Its name is Furafu. Some say the name comes from the Dutch word meaning flag. Others say that it originates in the English word flag. Across Japan in May, families celebrate their son's growth by flying carp streamers. In Kochi, alongside the carp streamers, they fly a great furafu, a living tradition since the 19th century. This custom is thought to have reached Kochi from Nagasaki, which was then Japan's gateway to the world overseas. Pictured here are a brave warrior and a sturdy boy, the kind that often appears in old stories. The image encapsulates parents' desire for their children to grow up strong and healthy. The furafu owes its strong roots in Kochi to the native's mental habit of always looking outward. So says Mr. Yoshikawa, the fifth generation of a line of dyed goods manufacturers. Kochi no nengen wa atarashii mono wa honto ni sugu ukeire yasu in ja nai ka to omoimasu yo ne. それほど保守的じゃないとは思いますね。で、ま、仕事に関してもそうですけど、あの、こういう伝統的な仕事をしてましても新しいものは常に取り入れていきたいなと思いますね。Even today, each of the furafu is handmade. First, we draw an outline of the picture in rice paste. The secret to an impressive pattern is to draw in a single continuous line. Vivid colors are the hallmark of the furafu. Here, the sky is green, and the face is colored orange. コーチは午前中に南国ですんでね、南国のあの、なんていうかあの、そういうイメージを大切にして明るい感じでっていう風に考えて作ってますね。なるべくバックの色なんかもいわゆるあの雲の中でも灰色みたいな感じにはしないよう
These are the bright colors in which Kochi has been painted for centuries. This furafu is at once fresh and traditional. It snaps and dances in the air of this southern land. The people of Kochi are lucky to live amid the bounty of nature. Welcoming outside influences while living among the timeless climate and natural surroundings, the people of Kochi have developed a culture that is uniquely theirs. Today, this open-hearted way of life is itself a tradition. This is the treasure of Kochi.